Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make this jack-o'-lantern pumpkin for 3D printing. So first you're going to add a mesh, uh, we're going to go with UV sphere, and we're going to click this little window here and we're going to change the segments to 12 and the rings to also 12. So that makes this and then we're going to just scale this up a little bit. Oh wait, let's turn this on, so yep, uh, S to scale, right? And then, so that gives us 12 of these like lines. And we're gonna press tab, go into edit mode. And we're gonna click this, the top and the, oop, the top and the bottom. And we're gonna scale this with the uh, proportional editing on. And then we're just gonna use our mouse wheel to make this a little bigger, kind of just like encapsulating the thing. And then we're gonna just scale it down so it kind of looks uh, like a donut, like this. Okay, and then here we're actually gonna press X to delete those vertices. Uh, it'll just make it easier. If um, if we left that on and we're, we're gonna be like, uh, nope, we're doing this first. We're gonna be make, making like bevels. If we, do, if we left that center one on, it'll just create problems for us. As you can see, this, this is just one, but we're actually gonna do this for, um, all of these. So it's just easier to get rid of those for now. And then oh, we're actually gonna do line select and then we're just gonna do Alt Shift and then just click all of these lines. Okay, and then we're gonna go Control B to bevel. And then we don't want it to be like this because you know, that's, that's obviously gonna cause problems, we're gonna do it until, let's actually zoom in a little bit, uh, control B until it like, kinda like right there, and that's fine, okay? So this is the start of our pumpkin, and uh, to make it look more pumpkin-like, we're gonna do a subdivision service modifier, and we're gonna put it at three. Okay, so what do we do now? We're gonna make more loop cuts, all, uh, control R for loop cuts, uh, Left, left click to start it and then right click to center it, okay? So left click, right click. And then now we're gonna select all of those lines. Just look for like the, like the kind of like the V shape and then click the line in the middle. And then we're gonna press S, nope, S to scale, but we're gonna turn proportional editing off. S to scale, like so. Okay, looking pretty good. And then we're actually gonna go one step further, like you can keep it like that, but we're gonna make, um, so let's go to top view, uh, seven on the D numpad for top view. And then we're just gonna make um, more loop cuts in between like the two straight lines of each section. So yeah, left click, right click. And then we're gonna select them all again. This is the most tedious part, but uh, I think this is the last tedious thing. Okay, and then we're gonna scale this down to make it a little more like that, more of a crease, All right? And um, I forgot to tell you, uh, I used two um, add-ons. So if you go to Edit, Preferences, and then you go to uh, Add-ons, I use Mesh Loop Loop Tools and Bool Tool, uh, the the Mesh Loop Tools, and then Object Bool Tool add-ons. So you're also going to want those because those. You'll see, they're very useful and you should always have them on, okay? Just trust me on that one. Okay, so we press N to get this little uh, menu. We're gonna go to edit, nope. We're gonna go to edit mode. Uh, let's go to vertex select and then yeah, see here on the edits, we got loop tools. And then we're going to go into x-ray mode to kind of click uh, on the top and the bottom. 
and then we're going to do press circle just to kind of clean it up a little bit and as you can see it circles up both of them without like connecting them and then we're going to press f to fill it uh, let's get out of x-ray and then yeah you can see it's closed up and then we're going to inset it uh and then i'm not sure why but this is like this takes a lot of computing power, I guess. And then we're just gonna inset it slightly like that. So it's like that. And we're pretty much done with the pumpkin part of the pumpkin. Um, but yeah, this is looking a little too low def for me. So we're gonna increase it maybe to five segments. Okay, but we're not gonna apply it or anything. Okay, the next part we're going to add a uh, cylinder and similarly we're gonna do instead of 12 though we're gonna do go to 8 uh, G to move on the Z put it up let's scale it up a little bit this is gonna be like our stem and then yeah similarly we're gonna do loop cuts control R in between all of the spaces Okay, and then Alt Shift to collect uh, to select all of them. And then we're gonna press S to scale, but we're gonna press S to scale on the not Z. Okay, so scale it on every direction except for Z. So S to scale, and then we're gonna do Shift Z. And as you can see, it only moves on the X and the Y axis. And then we're gonna scale it down so it looks kind of like a star, okay? And then we're gonna add the modifier, subdivision surface modifier, and it looks kind of weird, right? That's because we need to add a few more loop cuts. Let's add four, okay? I'm using the mouse wheel to increase the amount of loop cuts. Um, and then we're gonna go to face select, select the top, we're gonna inset it by 0.1. So like 10% inside. And then just to keep everything uh, even, we're gonna inset the bottom as well by 0.1. Okay, and then it's like the, the backslash to isolate it and then come back. Okay, and then let's just move this up to maybe three yeah, that's fine. Okay, and this is look, looking a little too straight, so we're going to go into tab. Uh, let's go into x-ray mode and then vertex select. And then we're just gonna like, hmm, we're gonna turn proportion editing back on, uh, but we're gonna lower the, the area to about here let's go move it up a little bit maybe turn it and then like scale this up and then you can you can just play around with this whatever you think uh looks right this kind of looks weird but just g to move okay and whatever is like inside the pumpkin you don't have to mess with hmm. let's scale this a little bit Damn. perfect okay i'm happy with that what do you think yeah so this is pretty much done like this is our pumpkin so if you're happy with uh, what you have you want to apply this modifier and to do that you can go click on this click apply or um, the faster way I think it's faster um, and the faster way is you click on this go to control a and then visual geometry to mesh if you had multiple um, modifiers it'll apply all of them so in that case it's faster right so now when you go into uh, edit mode you can see like yep now, I do not recommend this if you're making game assets. I, I don't do that. I just do 3D printing. So we don't care about the absurd amount of polygon count. This is just for just for us and printing 3D printing in very high detail. So we don't care about this. You know, when you print it, the, uh, the amount of data doesn't really matter. Okay. 
Um, but first, we are going to uh, combine these, and that's where the, the bool tool comes in. So we are going to just click on both of these and then do a union. And what that does is it combines them and it gets rid of like the internal geometry. So as you can see, like before, this was like sticking inside a little bit. Now, like if we go inside the pumpkin, that part is gone. And all you're left with is just the outside, which is what you want when you 3D print things. You don't want like internal geometry or you'll get like weird failures, okay? All right, so next we're going to add a plane. Uh, we're gonna press R on the X by 90 to rotate it. And then we're gonna go to side view and then move this right in front of the pumpkin and then move it back. Um, and then we're just gonna get rid of this X to delete the vertice and then we're gonna click the rest and then press F to fill. And then ooh, we're gonna turn off proportional editing and then we're just gonna move these points until we're happy with uh, like a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin eye. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, and then we're going to add the modifier, the mirror modifier, and then we're going to use this as our mirror object. And yeah, those are the eyes. And you could kind of change these however you want. You can make them big, like ooh, it's surprised. Uh, here it's like evil, but we're going to leave it kind of normal. Okay, so we're going to add another plane. So we're going to do the same thing on X, Y, and then side view. We're going to move it here. And then we're going to apply our mirror modifier. Okay, and then we're going to turn on clipping. So what clipping does is when you do this and you pass it like doesn't stop. But when you turn on clipping, it'll kind of just combine them together so that when we apply the the mirror modifier, this will be all one one object and not like two separate objects. Hope that makes sense. And then we are just going to press E a bunch of times to make a bunch of extrusions. Okay, and then we're gonna do, let's go here, two teeth, um, G to move on the Z down, and then scale on the X to kind of make it wider. If you look here, you can kind of see what we're doing. And then let's make a loop cut here and then just move these up a little bit. Like so. And then we're just gonna like fix the mouth so that it's smiling to the best of our ability. Uh, something like that. It's G on the Z. I'm gonna open it up a little bit and then fix this. Yeah, something like that. Now, as you can see, it is like this, but this is what we're gonna cut away from our pumpkin. Okay, so I'm happy with that, but you can like kind of play around with this and then just make it however you want it to look. Um, but yeah, if you're happy with it, which I am, we're just going to apply the modifiers. Apply, apply, and then let's start with the eyes. Um, press tab to go into edit mode and we're gonna do A to select everything and then E to extrude okay and then actually we're gonna go into side view let's turn on x-ray because we want to Ooh. we don't want to make um, we want to make sure we go deep enough but not like too deep okay because so uh, I like this line right here okay so yeah that looks good and then we're gonna do the same thing. 
press tab to go into edit mode, press A to select all, go side view, and then E to extrude up to about here. Okay, let's turn off x-ray. And then this is actually not gonna work, but I'm gonna show you why it's not gonna work, okay? So we select this and this, and then this as our final object, and we're gonna press difference. And what that should do is take these two objects and cut them out of this object. But it didn't work. Anyone know why? Because when we turn on face orientation, these are red, which means uh, this is what Blender thinks this is outside, but it thinks this is inside. So when we extruded it, we should have gone like this way. Let's actually see if it works. Let's isolate that. Uh, yeah, select these and then G on the Y. Yeah, so if we did it this way, um, this could work. So now if we like, let's move these. Yeah, that's fine. So now when we do a uh, difference, it should work. So it pretty much thinks this is inside out and what this is should be on the inside. So it's confused about what is on the outside. So pretty much, yeah. Um, but another thing we could do is we press tab um, A to select all, and then we do can, nope, Alt N. And then we could either flip or recalculate outside, which in this case, either would work. So if we flip it, it's blue, Control Z. All done, recalculate outside, you know, this is obviously the outside. So now when we do this, click this, and then click this second, because that's the object we want to keep, and then do difference, it should work fine. And now let's turn face orientation off. And yeah, now we have our jack-o'-lantern. I'm, uh, I'm moving this around for the thumbnail. Uh, multitasking. Um, if you ever want to get rid of these grids, you can click this. And if you want to get rid of this, boop, boop. Now what you need to do is just take this, go to File, Export, STL, and then load it up on your uh, whatever program you use. I use uh, Chitubox, the free version. And then you, you want to rotate it like this into like a 45 degree angle. I already, I already did it for this and a couple other jack-o'-lanterns I made. As you can see, there's a sad one and a kind of evil laughing one with sharp teeth. Um, but yeah, if you rotate it 75 degrees, that's enough so that you don't need to add supports to like the inside of the mount. It'll print fine. And um, here are the examples of these that I printed. So you know um, what to expect. Um, be very generous with your supports. I actually had a couple of these fail because even though there was a lot of supports, uh, these especially, they're kind of like wide and they take up a lot of area. So the suction force, sometimes it's, it's a lot. So I had two of these fail out of like however many. Uh, so yeah, make sure you add a lot of supports. And for the support system, I use light supports like exclusively, uh, but for the contact shape, I use spheres. So it adds these little circles uh, because if you don't, I found that when you take the supports off, it leaves little holes, but when you use spheres, it leaves little like pimples but like the pimples are easier to like either shave or cut off and holes you have to like fill them. So I'd rather cut something off than have to, you know, use something to fill the holes. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you know how to make a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin or a regular pumpkin like these. So, and for those of you longtime members, don't worry, a furry model is coming. It's gonna be this uh, pumpkin head figure. Um, it's not painted yet, but the, the video for this will come out 
later this week. I'm trying to do this thing where I do tutorials and then uh, model videos. So I'm, I'm trying to do two videos a week just to branch out to a wider audience. So don't worry, I'm still giving away free models uh, like three times a month-ish still. So don't worry, they're still coming. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.